Hi, this is The Web Guru, and today I'm going to show you some of my favorite shortcuts in Premiere Pro. So let's get started. In the project panel, I have a lot of media. So in order to maximize the panel, all I have to do is hit the accent key, and then it'll become full screen. And if I hit the accent key again, it'll go back to normal. So in North America, this key is found in the top left corner. Now what I really like about this shortcut is that it works with any panel. So I can click inside of the timeline, and then with accent, I can maximize the timeline, then I'll hit it again. I can go up to the program monitor, I can maximize that panel, I can do it with any panel. Now let's talk about zooming inside of the timeline. I prefer to use the minus key to zoom out, the equals key to zoom in, and then my favorite is the backslash key to view the entire timeline. So when I hit backslash, I get to see everything that's in the timeline. Now don't confuse the backslash with the forward slash, which does something completely different. And by the way, be sure to use the minus and equals keys on the main portion of the keyboard. Next up are the up and down arrow keys. So the down arrow key will take me to the next edit in the timeline, and the up arrow key will take me to the previous edit in the timeline. So I can jump from clip to clip simply by using the up and down arrow keys. Next up is the ripple edit. So here's a clip. If I wanted to ripple trim the beginning of the clip here, all I have to do is hit Q, it'll automatically trim the beginning of the clip. Now I'm gonna go toward the end of the clip, and now if I'm ready to trim the end of the clip here, all I have to do is hit W. So I can basically go through the timeline and just by using Q and then W, I can trim all of these clips very quickly. The next shortcut is rearranging clips within the timeline. Now the trick is to hold down the command key or the control key on Windows. Now if I hold down the command key and then drag over, I can automatically swap the two clips. And I could do this with almost any clip. I can drag the elephant now in front of this other shot. Next up is adding transitions. So if I select multiple clips, like here I've selected a whole bunch of clips, and now if I go Command D, it will add transitions between all of the selected clips. Okay, here's the last one, and it involves the workspace. Sometimes it doesn't take much, like you can accidentally close panels, and then all of a sudden you're feeling lost and confused. So to quickly reset your workspace, just double click the name of the workspace. So if I double click the word editing, and then everything should snap back into place the way it was normally. So there you have them, some of my favorite shortcuts in Premiere Pro, and in a future video, I'll talk about shortcuts for advanced users. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, and thank you very much.